In this video, I will show you how to make your own unique electric piano sounds inside of the MPC Live X1 or the Akai Force. Uh, I was inspired by a content creator by the name of Marlo Diggs, also known as MPC Head. So I wanted to give him a special shout out in this video because I was inspired. So the link will be in the description box. I recommend that you subscribe to him because he has great tips. So let's go. So I have an empty project, it's untitled, and I picked out my drums. You know, you can do whatever you want, but uh, I'm gonna go and select the track that I want to use for the plugin itself. So how do we pull up the plugin now that we're on an empty track? And it's very simple. Since we're on the track part of this UI on the main screen, we wanna select the plugin. So now that we have selected the plugin, we can go into the menu and select electric. So let's go ahead and select electric and you can see electric is here. If you're on the MPC one or X, you can press the program edit button. But if you're on the live or the live two, press and hold menu and tap this pad. And now you can see the UI for the VST plugin that's inside of the MPC, the stock plugin. Now it is electric and let's test it out. All right, we can hear it. So I'm gonna do his mess with the Q links. You can control some of the parameters by using the Q links. But let's go ahead and get that sound and I'll dive in deeper. So the next thing you wanna do is go to your third Q link and make sure it's on the first dot and mess with the third Q link knob and it will mess with the distance. So if you go all the way to the right, you will have a smoother E piano. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go into main. I'm gonna select some progressions that I like. Uh, the progressions that I'm going to use in this video actually comes from Musician Paradise, which is a very dope producer too and a keyboardist. So I'm gonna go ahead and select some of his Herbie Hancock progressions. And that's the one that you heard from the very beginning of the video. And now you can really hear the progression. So what I'm gonna do is record that in so, you know, just follow your typical orders. We'll set it up for success. Press record, play start. I'm gonna keep it simple. You can still mess with the sound in real time. Like, yeah, that's not what we want, we want it smooth. Now there are other things that you can do to the E piano. And I'm gonna go over here to this tab where we can mess with tremolo. Make it smoother, we can have it free syncing. We're still messing with the cueings. Turn on tremolo. I'm gonna add more def on the fourth Q link. Here, kind of waver along. Now we're gonna go and press the Q link until we're to the third dot. And the next thing we're gonna do is this: mess with the rate, the def. hear it widen. You also can mess with the mix. And that sounds perfect. Now the next thing I wanna do is this right here. This is a tip I wanna show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and press main right here so I can go back onto the main screen. And now I will press shift and main to get to the grid, okay? Now that we're on the grid, we can go and see 
our MIDI. Now, one thing you'll notice about the MIDI is that it's like quantized. And, and true enough, I have the quantize on, you can turn quantize off. But one thing that would be very difficult to deal with is how this plays. Now, a natural keyboardist uh, wouldn't play these perfectly on the one, okay? Or whatever part of the grid. Uh, they would actually have looser progressions or looser chords. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple. You would, you know, go out of, exit out of the grid mode and press main to get back to your main screen. Then you would hit the pencil sign. And now we can humanize. So there's a humanize button right here in the options. And now we can choose humanize. You can mess with the amount. And all this stuff could uh, change, you know, I, or vary for whoever likes the most. So I'm going to use humanized velocity, add the strength here, give the algorithm something to think about, humanized note length. I'll, I'll mess with that a little bit more. And then you can mess with eagerness, and it'll say often after the beat often ahead of the beat or you can choose just generally sloppy i'm going to hit apply and do it now let's go shift and grid and look at it if you want to stress things out uh, make sure that you select the right tool so we need the magnifying glass so we can get a good look at it and you can see now that it's very loose now let's hear it by pressing play start Let's see if we can get something going with the drums. I'm gonna record something in real quick. All right. Uh, now that we have something going, you can hear the bounce in it. Now, what we're going to do is dive in a little deeper on the electric piano. So, you know, that was for everybody that wanted to see the general idea of what Marlo Dix does very well. And the next thing I'm going to do here is this right here. So I'm going to go back into the program that has the e-piano. So, you know, uh, hit menu, hit and hold menu and then hit that pad or just hit the program edit button if you're on the one and the live. Now you hear different elements in this track uh, as far as the e-piano. All right, so we hear that. Uh, perhaps we don't want too much of that bell sound in there. So what is the bell sound? So what, what we could do is turn it up. So I'm in the first dot of the Q link, and now we'll turn the volume up of the bell. Maybe you just want it smooth. See, now you can make it really smooth. Now the other thing that I wanna show you is this right here, which is dry. Next thing is on the second Q links, or you hit Q link again to get to the second dot. And you can do tune. You can turn bell off too, by the way. And then I'm gonna tune the key track. Go to the third one, add frequency, noise, you can turn noise on and off. with 
the mix. And then you can change the attack too. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Other noise. The next thing you can do, you have set up, you can change the voices to 16 voices or higher or lower. So now I'm going to show you that. Make sure you select it. Yeah. Mess in the master volume there. Have it on one voice. Sounds like this. So it needs more voices. You can change the velocity levels. Tone. Just in case it's like hitting too hard for you. We already talked about tremolo and tube and chorus. And then we all know what a delay is, but make sure that you turn on and off the effects at your leisure. But uh, let's go a step deeper because this track is really dope. Uh, I like those E pianos, but I want to add some lo fi elements to it. So what I'm going to do is this right here. I'm gonna make sure that you see this because I, I just go real fast. I'll hit this eyeball sign. Then I'll go to insert to add an effect. We're gonna go to vintage effects and we're gonna select SP 1200 ring, which is a part of your lo-fi sounds. So let's hear it now. And let's turn it off. Let's turn it back on. Yeah. That's basically it right there. I just want to show you some quick tips. And yeah, that was the E piano. Yeah. I kind of do look like <laughs> where's Waldo with this shirt on. Whatever.